So, there are quite a few Jedi who survived Order 66 in canon, and it's about, I believe, 39, around 39 Jedi, uh, give or take, and I got this number from watching Star Wars Explains video, Alex. Um, I watched the video today, and he pointed out that how there were about 39 Jedi who survived Order 66. And so, my thoughts on that is, I think that's actually a good enough number. It's not too big. It's not too many Jedi who survived. And one thing I will say is that back in Legends, I always hated how way too many Jedi, way too many Jedi survived Order 66. Just way too many. There were like hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds. So that was a little insane. So I like how in canon, so far, they have much fewer Jedi who survived Order 66. And another thing to point out, and this is the same point that Alex from Star Wars Explained made, is that um, back is that there were about ten thousand Jedi while the Jedi Order was around, and so if there's about uh, thirty nine Jedi who survived Order sixty six, then that means that there was a survival rate of zero point zero zero three nine. So only about 0 0.04. So very few Jedi survived. So even if there were 100 Jedi who survived, potentially, that would still only be 1% of the Jedi who survived. So Order 66 was insanely effective and a brilliant plan on Darth Sidious's part. Because as I've said before, Darth Sidious could, is so powerful. He could just, I mean, Darth Sidious is more powerful than Mace Windu and more powerful, and Darth Sidious is more powerful than Yoda. So Darth Sidious could have easily just gone out there himself and destroyed all the Jedi all at once. But he needed the political pieces to fall into line. And so... Order 66 made it very convenient for him to where the Jedi could just be taken out very quickly. Moving on from that, um, so I think having only about 1% or less of the Jedi survive is brilliant and awesome and wonderful. And it shows the sheer effectiveness of Order 66. But to my next point, um, obviously you can see I have a Shakti Aparensis uh, and a Kid Fisto on my uh, screen here. And here is where there was one thing in Legends that I liked better about canon, in that in Legends, Legends tried to do or did a much better job of taking care of Jedi Council members who were, you know, not around later. So, for instance, um, in Legends, Yaddle died on a mission before Attack of the Clones. That's why she was replaced by Shock T. But in canon, Yaddle's fate is unaccounted for because it just says that she took a less active role and stepped down. So, I mean, where is she? Like, there was one Jedi who was potentially out there. And then also in Legends, Operancisis, our guy over here, Snakey, he died because he was uh, killed by Sora Bulk. But in canon, Operancis is presumably survived because he's on the list of potential survivors, or actually ones that they know for sure survived, as the Grand Inquisitor was mentioning to Darth Vader. So you have these loose ends in canon, whereas you didn't really have them in Legends. They were just very strict in killing off the Jedi. You know, obviously I know Legends was not done by a centralized authority, it was just a bunch of writers and a bunch of people who were imagining stuff and doing stuff, so there is that too, diversity of thought and opinion. And, but you do have some exceptions to the rule, so on the flip side, in canon they actually did something better than Legends, and ironically it's the same thing that I mentioned that Legends did better than canon. So in canon, they killed Evan Peel. I didn't like the way they killed him, but they still killed him, and explained why his seat was empty on the Jedi Council. And, of course, in Legends, Evan Peel actually was still alive after Order 66, and ended up dying later. In canon, um, they killed Depa Balaba, but in Legends, she was presumed to have probably died in the Temple Attack, but she had turned to the Dark Side before and all that stuff. So the thing about Depa Balaba is obviously both in Legends and in Canon she took she stepped away from the Jedi Council because in Legends she turned to the dark side and had to recover and then in Canon she was injured and 
that stuff. So I would have just, either way, I would have just preferred to just kill her off completely, like, before Revenge of the Sith, but, I mean, they do what they gotta do, so. Oh, and now there's lightning and thunder and raining outside, so you're gonna hear a noise, or maybe you won't. So, uh, I... So that, that's my thought. Um, I think the more Jedi that are gone is better. The fewer Jedi that remain are better. And personally, I do, I would have just preferably just taken out all the Jedi who were not available. So in the Jedi Council, you had Yaddle and Yarrow Poof who were in The Phantom Menace but were not in Attack of the Clones. And Yarrow Poof died in Legends because he got stabbed and... Uh, Yaddle died, uh, obviously, because she got poisoned, like, something happened to her, like, I don't remember the details of what happened, but she did die. So, there was that, and I think in canon, Yarrow Proof's fate is either unaccounted for, or maybe he, they say he did, he died or something, I'm not really sure. And in Attack of the Clones, obviously, we see Coleman Trevor dying in Attack of the Clones when he gets shot, so that's why he's not in Revenge of the Sith, and then Depa Bilaba, as I mentioned, all that stuff about her, and... And Eeth Koth, I would have just preferred if they just killed him off in canon. Because having him leave in just... Or actually, no, never mind. I, I like the Darth Vader, Charles Soul, Darth Vader comics where uh, Eeth Koth was some priest or something and he was uh, he had left the Jedi Order and he had a kid or something and then he died because Darth Vader got rid of him and... That's why I hope we see the backstory on what exactly happened to Eve Koth, why he got to that point at some point. But yes, I, I, I'm, for the most part, I'm pretty, I'm pretty impressed by the way canon and legends handled the extinction of the Jedi, and I think that was pretty awesome. It was wonderful to see. The less Jedi, the better. The less, the merrier. <laughs>